YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So we're going to quickly carry on with our pause screen, hurry up and get it finished and completely done. So at the moment what we're going to change, this should be a really quick tutorial, is when we press escape it does that but then we can still move, we can see everything, we can still fire, we can move around and that's not what we want because then like if the enemy is firing at you you can just pause it, fly away, unpause it. It's not very good. So what we're going to do is quickly fix that and it's really, really, really simple. Now the first thing I was going to attempt to do was to disable the character. So this is what happens when you disable it. So pause it, let's disable it. And you lose everything. The pause menu goes, the screen goes until you turn it back on. So what we need to do is move the GUI scripts out of it. Okay, now let's turn off the character. It works, kind of. It still hides the whole screen. So we need to turn it back on. So, if we were to unpause it, and then pause, hide the character, and play, try to play the sound, there's no audio listeners, so our sound will go to waste. So basically what I'm getting at is we need to move a few things around and disable a few other scripts, but apart from that, it'll work perfectly. So, it's really actually simple to do. So we're going to find our GUI scripts, or GUI scripts, and double click our on screen actions to open it up. So right in here where we say if pause active equals true, we're going to press enter and we're going to type here um, this.gameobject.transform.parent equals null. So what that'll do is set the get this script's game object, so um, GUI scripts, set its parent to nothing so it's in main folder. That works perfectly. The next thing we've got to do is set the main cameras so that we don't have to so we can actually carry on seeing, that's it. So we're going to copy the name of this, because this is a weird name. We're going to duplicate this and type here. This dot get, well, game object dot find main camera FPS dot transform dot parent equals null. So we set that to null too. Perfectly. So next line, which is kind of our final line, is we type um, character dot set active true now this set active code is the new um, code unity is using you can also use um, character dot active equals true you can use whichever you like i'm going to stick with the set active it stops warnings popping up and what character is is a game object we're about to create so var character game object just like that so I have noticed we've put this in the wrong place. Now, we, that is when we're actually coming back on. So we're going to copy this and paste it below the audio here. There's no really um, organization or way you want to do this, but try to keep it above the time because if it pauses before it moves everything, then you're not going to get very far. So up here, we, we now need to reset it back. So the character needs to be active, simple enough. And the transform.parent needs to be character.transform. And so does the main camera. So this, these three lines here, so I just spaced that so you can see better. These three lines here set the main camera and the GUI scripts to a no parents. No, I mean two parents, these two here. And then this sets the camera tr character true, so that'll work. And these down here will take them two objects away and set the character false so it should work. So let's save it and give it a blast. Or a try. So we press pause. We can still kind of move because we have an assigned character. So we find GUI scripts and assign character. So the reason we're actually assigning it and not just going this.transform.parent is because, well, that's going to be here. So it won't have a parent. So just go along with it. So we pause it. Perfect, we can't fire. Unpause. Like exactly where we were. Go find, pause, play, ooh, there you go. So it works perfectly, so we can shoot. Pause, unpause, it carries on. So that works perfectly. So now that that works, what we're gonna carry on doing is we're gonna add a small little menu, if you wish, to the pause menu. So we'll eventually add that up there, but for now, uh, about here, like Skyrim style, we're going to put like a resume game and 
quick game so two little buttons really simple to do so we're going to duplicate this button twice on two. and then for the X we'll set it to 960 that seems to work for this one but we'll set the texture instead of a texture to resume and we'll, we'll we will move these buttons up here else it won't show so if it's active then show the button resume should be instead of zero we'll set it all the way down to 960 see if that works in fact we'll set it to 700 seems to work better then we'll set it to 70 by 30 just because I know that's a roughly good button layout and what we're going to do is copy the entire thing up here so where it says when we click it and it starts the game so this one we're going to paste inside this button. We could eventually just make a function for it, but for now I'm not going to bother. And then for this we'll have quit. So, same again, 70, 30, and 960 by 700. But instead of 700, we'll move it down 30, so 740, add 10 to it. And this will be simply application.quit. We've done that one before. That won't work in the default one. You will have to build it, but don't worry about that for now. So that should work perfectly. Um, yeah, so all that's left is to try it. And if we click that button, it should unpause it. Pause. Ooh, so close. But it doesn't play the audio. So we're going to move these buttons across and up a bit. So say 30... The actual the actual position of them weren't bad, so set it to thirty and try it one more time. The audio should play. If we click the GUI script, so we can follow where that goes. So we press escape and it should pause. Press escape again, it should unpause. And that last one doesn't play, which is a bit weird because it should. So I moved the buttons up a little bit just to add a little, so it's a little better. Um, it still doesn't play the resume audio, but yeah, if you click the pause button and do it, it does it, which is a kind of a bit really weird. I'll probably figure it out later, but that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Next tutorial will be a land tutorial. I can't remember what we'll be doing, but it should be something cool. Thank you for watching. Join my Facebook group to get instant access to it, and see you next time.